hello and welcome back. It's time to go back to the Valerian state and uh, perhaps they're gonna give me a reward for not really sure what. Um, I didn't really stop the duel. I wiped out the other family. I'm not sure if I deserve a reward for that one. <laughs> but apparently, uh, uh, the guy plans to stay low. <sighs> Or lay low. Uh, that would be actually uh, <laughs> how I should say it. And um, not sure You're where he is. Pretty or Orso Valera. Orso. Mella, cut it out. Ooh, Orso second. Hey, Valera. Orso. Laro underestimated me. He won't do that again. No, he's dead. Okay. But don't get too cocky, guys. So, I'm just gonna check upstairs, talk to... his sister? Perhaps parent? We'll see how they react. No? Uh, I'm doing that. Oh. I'll just leave that. <clears throat> Martino Valera. Trouble sleeping, watcha? Me, I sleep like an infant. Atello Valera. Good night, watcher. We can speak in the morning. What morning? Dawn. Pre dawn. That's morning. Okay, it's morning. Let's talk. Lodger? Matello? Ado, I hear you witnessed an unfortunate exchange behind the Adra mill. Matello aims a troubled look at Martino. You've seen how these Bardatos rope us into conflict. It's a miracle that Orsa survived this long. Martino has need of muscle and brains outside of the Valera house. Atalo frowns toward his son. Tell me about the job. Let me take point on this one, father. Martino pats Atalo on the back and turns to you with a more severe business-like expression. Some royal deadfire crews have lately taken to pirate hunting. One such crew has been boasting of their victories near the Wild Mare. Singing their Rauertai songs and making our clients anxious. Hunting Principi dogs is our business. With all these problems with the Bardatos, now is not the time for competition from the Brass Citadel. It would be better if they took their business elsewhere. When Atel isn't looking, Martino draws his thumb across his throat. Uh, you could always start shooting a shit out of one another and leave good dead fire folk be. Just a suggestion. <clears throat> I see. I'll do it, but I want the Valiant Trading Company to know I was helpful. Was that not implied? Of course. Consider it done. Come back when the Rawatai dogs have been dispatched, dismissed, or dismembered. Martino makes a pistol-firing gesture with his fingers and thinks. Okay. I guess we're gonna see the their side of this uh, situation. Valera Ship Hunter. Okay. So, I guess I gotta go into the Wild Mare. Uh, have a little talk. Maybe check out the north side of town. There's still something, still yet to be explored, I believe. I believe some shops, 
have seen on the map. But that's all uh, so far. Then after that, there, there, are, there are a lot more uh, places I can explore on land. <clears throat> so we have the back alley, dockside arms and armor. And we can also check out the wild mare. This is uh, where we were who labor in the shadow. sent. For nothing is hidden from Aethus. Larod got himself killed? They're already talking about that. <laughs> I could have just scared them. Well, I, I could have attempted to stop the duel. Ah, but it didn't work out so well. What a tragedy. Anyhow, game. Kintel. Aboko. Ado, my hunter. To what do I owe this delight? Captain Redora? Ado, you return. Okay, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> Martino wants a few rot Rotaian sailors expelled from the vicinity of Queen. Uh, Queen's Bird Tavern. Singing outside the Valmer. Oh. Well, I definitely remembered the Valmer. So they are just a bunch of sailors singing outside the Valmer who are bad for business of Pirates hunting. You see, I don't really like that. Are these the guys? Fair sailing to you. Sing as anything but the Naga's nethers, won't you? Maybe they are upstairs. Did you arrive on the Defiant? Yes, indeed, I have. We got Trimp. Defiance Bay, am I right? The size of little Omana smiles and claps uh, you on the shoulder hard. Who are you again? I was but a face in the crowd. But I remember the one who walked out of Hadred House alive. He claps you on the shoulder again, harder, and this time you recognize inebriation behind his enthusiasm. So, what brings you here, friend? <clears throat> What are you doing? Captain gave us extra coin to occupy ourselves while we're on leave. We've been draining Valian wine cellars and trying to remember the words of Rawatai anthems. <laughs> Loudly, as often as not. He turns to his compatriots with unrestrained glee. Martino Valera wants you out of Queen's birth. Valera? One of the stuck-up pirate hunters. Exactly. We move for no one, friend. His expression darkens and his hands drop to his sides. Anything I can say or do to convince you to leave? We'll leave when we're good and ready. Valera should get used to waiting. Look, if you just beat it for a few hours, then we both win? No. Tell the Valeras they can lick my boots. I like him. On second thought, you can go about your business. That's what I thought. Now, if you don't mind. Stuck up pirate hunters. Just because they're competition? Alright, time to wipe out the Valeras too. Or they could just uh, choose to. Gone sickle comes for us uh, all. I don't know. Well, I can ignore them. That feels like they're using their influence to do 
Well, more, more to uphold uh, their position of power than to actually uh, help out. And nobody who has uh, such a big house uh, is a good guy. So, Orso Valera. Laro underestimated me. He won't do that again. So, we can go to the upper floor and tell that uh, we don't do it for the. Well, Sailor said suck it. And we might say the same thing. Can I actually forcefully attack? I, I actually. I, I can. But. Uh, that might be too extreme. I just wonder if uh, I can tell can them that I'm so? not doing it. All of the Bardatos at once. Italo brings a shaking hand up to his temple. <laughs> I am only sorry that I was not there to swing my blade into it Sally's neck. I solved your problem. Surely that merits a reward. Solved it, Madiko. Who will do business with us now? Father may not be pleased, but I am. He tosses you a coin pouch and wings. This will not make the company's work easier, but we will step in to help. You help and strategize. <laughs> I'm tempted to sneak into the Bardato estate with an empty bag. <laughs> nice. Skillfully done. They're gutting the Bardato estate now. I will try to stifle my regrets. Huh. Watch his mechanics. I'm pretty good, huh? There, done. Leave it. I don't know. Let's not kill them. Ah, <sighs> all these vultures. Should I treat them any differently? Just because they have a big house? I don't know. So, we gotta go to the north. Check out that shop. After that, I'm not really sure where to go. I definitely don't wanna do uh, their... Uh, get rid of the what pirate hunters mission. You were a ship hunter? Ah, rough times, lass. Would spare you the telling, lest you be set on it. I reckon I can handle it. Crew, I will, if they give me any job they fought like to kill me. I live to prove them wrong. Can't live the good times unless you survive the bad. That would be in a pirate's all about? Aye, oh, sure enough. Besides, so lasses say the scars be adding distinction. Alright. Sinbel, Tiala, Vanika. Let's see. Please, no interruptions. Tiala? Close enough. The young girl narrows her eyes and reaches for a dagger tucked into her back pocket. Whoa! Her cheeks are sallow and she licks the edges of her, lip, uh, of her dried lips. Even if she had eaten this week, yet you doubt she'd be in fighting shape? Give her an egg? You look like you could use this? <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay. Agrasima. She takes the egg in both hands and gently nestles it into a pouch. That'll staunch my pains for an evening at least. One egg? Uh, what's a kid like you doing on the streets of Nakataka? Nasenale. I've never had a roof over my head longer than an evening. She cocks an eyebrow at you. I guess cutting me loose was cheaper on my parents than a passage back to the Republics. Or a few bites of bitter squash. Very well, Tiala. If you told me a few years ago that I'd end up following you on another crazy errand, I'd have said you were out of your mind. He gives you a dismissive gesture with his pipe hand. Not because I got anything against you, more that trouble seems to come looking for you wherever you go. I'm kind of following trouble. Yet, here we are again, probably on our way to die. Well, you already did, but me, I mean. He cocks his head to one side and smiles. I couldn't go or having all the fun by myself. Hmm, yeah. 
I'm, I'm gonna go with that. I can go having all the fun by myself. All real nice of you to share. Someday I'll have to get you a gift. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. And wouldn't you know it, this time is shaping up to be crazier than the last one. There's something accusatory behind Ether's eyes. But I gotta say, I appreciate how you've handled things. Times like these, staying decent's not as easy as it sounds. Thank you! I tried my best. Not that I don't got questions about your moral fiber, but you surprised me. What are you talking about? Oh, me giving an act to that child? And that was more as a joke. I couldn't resist. <clears throat> Decent wasn't on purpose. Shh. Ah, uh, thanks. Well, you were having a silent chat with the dead dwarf lady when I met you. Yeah. It takes a special type to overlook something like that. I've been meaning to ask, though. How is it you never seem to lose your way through all this? That's a good question. What is it tells you you're on the right path? Uh, you just don't know. I never know. <laughs> the secret is that you make mistakes along the way, but as long as you got kind of the right intentions, you know, you're gonna get there. <clears throat> I never know, it's complicated. I believe in helping people who need it. Sometimes it's more complicated, but often it's not. Meh. Nah. If I'm truthful with myself and others, I find that things tend to work out. Meh. Nah. But being truthful with yourself and some with others is pretty important to grow. I think about what the wrong path could would be, then I do the opposite. Uh what? That's definitely not how I operate. How I wait. How would it even work? What's the wrong path? I don't know, like piggyback writing uh, Yotas. Leading him to the old the luminous Aedra. And the opposite of that is not piggyback riding him. It doesn't really work as well. I judge every situation on its own circumstances and leave feelings out of it. Wow, okay. Not really. My confidence is an illusion I use to entice people into following me blindly. Ooh. Okay. I have strong feelings about everything. I accept that even uh, the wrong path is not a dead end. Yeah, that's it. But I guess that's the closest one to what I what I said earlier. That's an interesting way of looking at it. Don't know if it's right, but I bet there's less worrying. Heather heaves a sigh that sounds as if it's been building up for months. His smile is tight-lipped, wistful. When I was a boy, things were simpler. Aethys was more like a character we read about in church. I could see that being an improvement. Easier to worship a god when their worst traits are swept under the rug. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it was. You know, most stories had him helping folks or making the world work as it should. He ups the smile and gently pointed the finger of a coaxing parent. You pray to him. He might help you too. He lets the, the finger drop and the smile fade. There was no cost to it. No confusion about his will or followers taken into extremes. Following Aethys was right. I had no reason to question. He pauses. It could be the light, but the creases around his eye and mouth seem longer and deeper than your memory of them. Do you think there's any way that following him could still be the right path? After all we've seen? That's crazy. No. Of course, even Berat wants us to follow him. Damn. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if you would say it as a joke, but, <laughs> but I. I think the world deserves better. 
Come on. How much slack is he gonna get? No way. Of no. Of course, even Berat wants us to follow him. No. No, I don't. I don't think it could look much worse for him. Those old notions of him, that's all he's got in his favor now. Anyway, I didn't mean for this to get depressing. I think this was just a long way of saying, I appreciate the way you've guided things. Makes me feel like I'm doing some good, going with you. He shakes his head with a look on his face like he just remembered the joke. Great! Nice! We got parallel tricks. Monica, what about well you? Well met, stranger. If you feel like investing in protection, I'd be willing to trade iron for copper. Oh, I see. Your selection is fine, but I'm looking for even better equipment. I assure you that everything I sell is well crafted. But I will admit I'm not quite the weaponsmith that Marihi is. Nor do I possess Uto's expertise with firearms. Marihi, you can find in Periki's Overlook, the district to the north. Udo has a shop in the Brass Citadel, in the eastern part of Nekitaka. Let me see what you got. Lots to see. Take your time. Heaven's Cacophony? Wow. Two intelligence. I don't know if I want uh, to spend so much money. Fine large shield. Seems like a good one. Hands, two might, 50% chance to perform knockdown attack against targets with critical hits in melee. Also gives you reeling blow. Twice per rest. Heaven's Cacophony. Grants Shout of Hosts. Launches the a cone attack that can knock back and stun targets in the area of effect. And Avenging Storm. That looks like a black eye logo. <laughs> uh, the druid becomes a conduit or the power of storm. Any target they strike with a weapon or who strikes them with a weapon is attacked by a bolt of lightning. Okay. Like this definitely looks like a, a good helmet. But... Do I really want to spend 9,000 on it and two intelligence? I'm thinking that's just too big of an uh, investment at this point. Yeah. What? Come on. <laughs> no, the gunpowder. Oh, my bad. Some gamblers having fun. What, is this it? Yeah, that's kinda it. Okay, let's go to the ship right. Get the sailors to leave. I, I don't want them to leave. Find the sailors. I found the sailors. Principi. Quests. Oh, okay. Bounty. Sail to Fort Deadlight. Plains of Aurora. Okay. Alright. We're gonna go to the top. Or some, some other location. Some other sector. In this town. Zamar. Be with you in just a most hazard of the came in on the sloop. I can hammer your ship together Having if trouble you're trouble with a client. I, Captain Radora, hasn't paid me for her commission firepower. While I'm up to my nose in debt, the wild didn't I have this conversation already? And now, pirates, are if I don't get Radora's payment, I might as well start carving my swallow net. I, if, if it gets me a discount on your labor, I could hunt down Rodora. You do that? A fair price. It all comes down to. Alright. Okay. 
I, I don't know why we didn't have that mission. Maybe I just did a quick save, quick load. And didn't realize that I skipped the guy accidentally in between. But I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's just go to the Vladmer. And yeah. Yeah, we can uh We can actually go and head out. And that should be fine. But uh we still have a lot to do in the city. Partially talking with the queen. I'm not sure if we're gonna find any more uh companions here. So Radora, uh, you wanna get intimidated? Into paying? Ado, you return. Somewhere send me to collect your debt. Merla, and he hired muscle. Radora takes a shaky step back. Sientere, but you are too late to collect. She holds out her palms and flitches at the blow that doesn't come. A gang in the northern alley stole every coin. I cannot hire a crew, much less repay Zamar. Radora slowly lowers her trembling hands. Zamar is having some pirate trouble. Could this gang be connected? If they wanted Zamar to thirst for coin, uh, it is possible. Botsos would regret it when I turn my cannons to their mast. Radora raises her empty mug as the vow is struck. Those are the cannons you'll be waiting for Zamar to cast you. Because I'll be seeing more holes in that plan than in any Principe mast's future or no. His green eyes pry at her from over, over crossed arms. Why don't you tell me what happened? The wizard lights drew me like a moth to the alley north of the wild mare. Her eyes turn and downcast. And the blow to the back of the head that followed, mare light hurt. She touches a spot behind uh, her ear and hisses. Then a wolf sat on my chest while a group of thugs went through my pockets. A wolf? Ah, it growled like a thunderstorm and drooled on my uniform. Damn. You're pretty hammered. Radora pats a stain on her shoulder. I stumbled back here and traded all I had left for the comforts of the mare. Sounds like my quarrel is with the gang for a while. When you got their leader, tell them Radora sent you. She raises her mug and winks. Radora sent me? I take a pass on that one. Anyway, uh, I guess we're gonna go outside the Queen's Birth. And uh, look for this uh, gang. I can try to rough rough up uh, Radora, but she has nothing. Pretty sure I paid for her ale, so she gets even more hammered. I, I I suppose I can't fully blame her in the situation either, so I guess I'm just gonna check out that gang. So can we go to the map? No. What? Why am I there? The gullet is closed. Brass Citadel is closed. Sacred Stair is closed. What? Why Why is everything closed? Leave the city by foot? What? Why is everything closed? That makes no sense. Um Okay. So, I'm gonna use the road north to exit Queen's Burt. I'm trying to use the names more, more and more. But they could be hard to uh remember. So, north exit Opened up Perikis Overlook, which is great. And uh, before we head out, we have the road to the north, we had road to the south, 
which I'm not really sure where is gonna lead us. Also, we got a road to the east as well. Anyhow, I guess we're gonna go to Perky's uh, Overlook. Yeah, Queen's Birth. This is a proper town. So, that wolf comment was pretty interesting. That means we're probably gonna pick up a... That makes me think that maybe this gang has a druid or a ranger. Maybe we can choose both. Uh, or that character we can pick up can be either. And uh, I guess I'm gonna have that. The new guy is decent, I suppose. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna retrain any of my characters eventually. Apparently, uh, going for the one-handed style and uh, weapon and shield style uh, doesn't work. I suspected as much, but uh, still. Seems like uh, loading these uh, bigger areas uh, takes uh, a longer Me time than usual. Used to spend hours chasing each other through the Merkberry fields. Don't think a day went by I didn't have a skinned knee or a bleeding elbow. Oh, we did that sometimes. Only my brother usually had a hand in the bleeding. H he older or younger than you? Either way, I bet he's just a strapping. Older. Was. Was older. Then Raid Sarah's invaded. Oh, I didn't... I mean, I... Of course, it's... Gone, but I'm so sorry. It's okay. Who are a trader? Quitsly exotic herbs. Do we really want to go in there? The dark cupboard? Archimir's manor? What? Isn't that like a famous wizard? Or is he just uh, not a jerk? Oh, Quitsly. Why, hello. Could steal you at your service. She sets down her pruning shears and looks you up and down with a warm smell. I can tell that you're new to the dead fire. Maybe you're still getting your bearings? Some of my herbs can help with seasickness or worse afflictions. What makes you think I got here recently? It's nothing personal. You just have that taking everything in look about you. Mm. Give it time. It'll pass. She reaches to brush a curl of fur behind her ear. Her gaze wanders toward Seraphine and lingers there. Then she pulls her focus back to you, uh, blushing slightly. Oh, ain't no shame in looking, lass. That's <laughs> hell. <laughs> Flashing a crooked grin, Seraphine bows to the herbalist. What brings an herbalist to Perky's Overlook? Money is the obvious answer, but I don't think that's what you're after. I like her a lot. Yes, I'm an herbalist, but I also pride myself as a florist. I think the city liked the idea of putting a flower shop somewhere visible. It's ostentatious, really. Probably the same reason why we have a magic shop next door. Pariki's Overlook is a great big splash of culture and innovation. There to show travelers that the Juana are ready for the world at large. Right. Show me what you have for sale. Fancy gloves. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anything you got that I can steal? The Lord's foot said in every book. Got it. Why not? It's 
See you later. Quit sleep. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Damn my thieving ways. All captains are warned to avoid the Adra Colossus. The dark cupboard. So this is a magic shop, apparently. Uh, according to Quitsley. Oh, come on, that's just rude. Game? What? So what? Give this place a try. Chance. I got nowhere else to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me. Don't drag me into your mess, Berteno. Not again. Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Hey, come back with that. Madiko. What? You ran off with a potion? Vecina? That flaccid batso. This young wizard clutches the counter top, looking as if she's either going to vault over it or snap it in half. You had none of that, huh? He mutters to himself in a dark, guttural tone. That's what I thought. What am I going to do? Think, Vecina. She grabs a fistful of her hair and sighs. Looks like your customer forgot to pay. Ah, very funny. Berteno just took Rokawa's fingers, which is no joke to me. He must have wanted to raise some fast coin. Arkemir will flay me alive over those damned gloves. Strange that the constructs didn't attack him for stealing. Is it strange? I don't know. Go consult Arkhamir's grimoire if you're that curious. Flustered, she finds any excuse to look elsewhere. What are you do what aren't you telling me? Not that it's any of your business, but Berteno used to spend a lot of late nights here. Fasina cuffs into her fist and avoids eye contact. I got into the construct's guts and marked off Berteno as a safe visitor so they would not attack him. Mm. And before you ask, no, I will never do this again. She crosses her arms resolutely. Why does he need the money? He said that he's in debt to a Raltaian captain by the name of Hamuto Stoneheel. By all accounts, a deadly serious man. Sounds like he didn't do this action lightly. Why are these gloves so important? You do not know Arkhamir, do you? He is as cheap as a Wodekin clerk. Arkhamir is an archmage of worldwide renown. The spells bearing his name focus largely on illusion and pain, qualities that he prizes in his personal life and teaching philosophy. Over the years he has uh, fostered dozens of students, but none have graduated from their apprenticeship to Arkhamir's satisfaction. Opting instead to leave his service in bitterness and resentment over the Archmage's Notoriously unfair treatment. He lives in uh, Nakataka at uh, Periki's Overlook, where he operates a local magic shop, the Dark Cupboard. Whatever he loses from those gloves, he will take out on me, somehow. I'll get those gloves back for you. You will? If you are expecting some payment or reward, I do need to keep this under wraps. A discount would be a nice start. She blinks twice in disbelief before regarding you with a warm smile. You look capable. While I am stuck behind this counter, I am in no position to refuse help. A discount goes without saying. You're saving me a world of trouble by doing this. Thank you. I, I do not know where Berteno fences his goods. But he mentioned an appointment at the Brass Citadel docks. Vecina bites her thumbnail and glares at the door, seeming to wish it would burst off its hinges. Hamuto Stonehill must be as dangerous as he sounds, or else Berteno wouldn't be so panicked. 
Tell me about yourself. I am the apprentice of He of Many Colors. That's plain old Archimir to you. What few spells I know have names like Archimir's Dripping Scourge or Archimir's Malevolent Codpiece. He made me conjure a household staff of imps. Horrible, chittering things. I think it's because he knows I hate them. Fasima sighs and waits patiently for you to speak up. You use a lot of honorifics when you talk about Archimir. Ah, he makes me call him by the titles he's earned in his long career. I can also call him by the titles I've made up since the start of my apprenticeship. She grins, glazing left and right. To me, he's the bringer of foul wind, the teeth of suckling imps, and the herald of dirty slippers. Ooh. I have questions about your predicament. Bertenno stole Rokawa's fingers to pay off his debt. If Arkimir finds out, he will boil me into broth for his imps. Ah, okay. Suddenly, my Fair whole well. existence revolves around these gloves. Incredible. Go on, then. That's a bummer. Seems like fortune for a pun, good madam. Exceptional skill armor. Stealing in this place is gonna be a bit hard. It's possible though. Huh? Got it. It's possible, but somewhat difficult. Shop imp. Do I even want to bother with it? Maybe not. We're gonna come back. Uh. Question is, where can we find him? In the brass citadel, though, so he won't be here. Water Shapers Guild. Luminous Bathhouse. We heard about that. Marie, his metalwork. To the gullet. Tall Raymond's. A lot of shops. Anyhow, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.